Hi, I'm Tony Sun. I'm a, in August, I'll be a fourth year PhD student in Noemi El Haddad's lab. And I work on uh, fairness characterizations for the health record, examining potential disparities in time to diagnosis and examining like the diagnosis pattern using a lot of Odyssey data. I spent a lot of time in California. I'm currently there during the middle of the pandemic and I'm from the Bay Area, yeah. Uh, I went to Hopkins and I double majored in biomedical engineering and neuroscience. Uh, so I essentially, I uh, learned a lot about like the computational side of biomedical engineering. I focused on like the CSE, like uh, computational biology classics, you know, most of the CS classes. And then for neuroscience, I also did something strange where I tried to steer away from the traditional biology path and took a lot of the computational neuroscience classes because it just interested me more. Uh, I worked on a project the senior year of college where I worked with some of the engineering folks from Hopkins. And while I was trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do for grad school, my advising team at Hopkins was like, hey, you might have heard this thing called informatics. Uh, some of the faculty here that the project that you're actually working on isn't a super, like it was technically under the biomedical engineering folks, but they were like a better name for it might be informatics if you're looking for like a PhD. And so that's how I initially heard of it. Uh, I've always liked the idea of spending some time in New York City. It's a very vibrant city. There's a lot of things to do and being a young person in New York is pretty fun um, if there wasn't a pandemic. <laughs> but um, uh, outside of New York City, I think Columbia has a lot of faculty that are really good at the uh, informatics side of things, especially having access to the Odyssey initiative that's uh, coordinated at Columbia means that um, there's a lot of opportunities for your large scale data science things that would be more challenging elsewhere. I work with Dr. Noemi El Haddad, and uh, I was particularly excited to join her lab because she works on a lot of cutting edge health NLP stuff. But also, she had uh, her lab has some pretty friendly and pretty cool people who do a very wide uh, range of different things. And so, uh, she has people working on the Citizen Endo project, people working on like Odyssey initiatives. So since it's a pretty large umbrella, I was like, I'm, pro I'm more confident that I can find whatever particular niche that I wanted to work on in her, in her lab. So essentially for my research, I'm interested in examining the diagnostic patterns in American healthcare. Uh, so essentially what that entails is the, we use Odyssey data from four primary sites, from CUIMC, from CCAE, which is a private insurance data set that uh, a lot of people contribute to, and then Medicaid and Medicare, which are American federal programs that most people have probably heard of. Essentially, what we're interested in doing is we look at conditions in the general population and how they uh, might differ across genders. So essentially, um, for instance, look at all the SNOMED CT codes. SNOMED is a standard that we use for, uh, it's like a dictionary of all possible medical terms. And we examine like uh, how many men present with say the uh, SNOMED CT code for Crohn's, how many women present with the code and compare if there's like a statistical difference in how many men and women present at the different data, data centers and institutions. And then we also examine at what first age they present. Uh, essentially prior to this kind of research, um, which we call like a large scale characterization, uh, in healthcare actually, <laughs> most of this research was done like manually per disease by researchers at like a single institution. So most of the ones you probably would read about on PubMed or Google Scholar were done by people in Olmstead County, Minnesota, which is a, it's a very random place to be. They have a census of all the people there, all the demographics, but the main reason is because that's where uh, the uh, Mayo Clinic is. And so they have they have longitudinal records for the last 30 years of their population. And they examine the differences in disease diagnosis for a couple specific diseases. Uh, again, we're interested in like today with, with all the data we have today, we're interested in examining a lot of diseases across a lot of different people and demographics across the United States. And so that's why we uh, get access to Odyssey and do it that way. Um, but aside from also just examining the individual SNOMED codes, another question that we were really interested in asking was, um, was there differences in the a diagnostic process? That is, uh, if we know someone is going to be diagnosed with a particular disease, say Crohn's disease or say a myocardial infarction, if we look back uh, 
three years prior to their diagnosis with the disease and look at what symptoms they had, say abdominal pain for Crohn's or say uh, chest pain for uh, myocardial infarction. Are there differences in the time to diagnosis given the particular symptom for men and for women? Uh, and so there's some literature on this. Uh, for instance, for myocardial infarction, women often present with different symptoms. They get diagnosed differently, which leads to oftentimes for like myocardial infarctions, different outcomes for women. They might uh, different uh, differences in the point of care. And so we're trying to see if we look at the healthcare record and examine the uh, symptom data, whether for a large batch of symptoms, there's differences in the disease diagnosis process for a large number of diseases. And this would only be possible if using like Odyssey and using all the different uh, data science tools we have. Uh, still figuring that out, uh, but anywhere from academia to maybe working in industry, I haven't really figured it out yet. There's like the things that would be helpful from like a technical standpoint. It's always useful to have taken um, some of the more computer science -y classes. If you're interested in data science, you should learn Python. You should get your hands wet with uh, Pandas, with Jupyter Notebooks. Just be familiar with like the basic data science -y tools that a lot of people uh, rely on these days. Um, outside of that, I'd say, uh, I don't think it matters too much actually, like what exactly you major in in college. I did neuroscience. It's like honestly very tangential to what I do today. <laughs> Most people I know, like, yeah, they took some computer science classes, but if push comes to shove, you could learn a lot of the computer science stuff on the fly. It's more so just uh, being passionate about healthcare 